Ultimately, the F-35 won the day, breaking down one of the world's most advanced air defense networks and relaying the data to missile-backed fighters like the F-16. The F-35 can fly at speeds as high as Mach 1.6 and can carry an internal payload of four weapons without compromising its stealth. But it's not the F-35's firepower that really makes the difference, it's the computing power. It's why F-35s have come to be known as quarterbacks in the sky or a computer that happens to fly. There has never been an aircraft that provides as much situational awareness as the F-35, Major Justin Hasently, an Air Force F-35 pilot instructor, tells popular mechanics. In combat, situational awareness is worth its weight in gold. But for nearly its entire life, many have debated whether the F-35 is a game-changing platform or a case study in the excesses of the Pentagon's weapon acquisition process. The aircraft we know today as the F-35 was built to meet the demands of multiple fighting forces with a single, highly capable aircraft. This new joint strike fighter, Pentagon officials believed, would allow for streamlined logistical supply lines, maintenance, and trading. This new fighter would also leverage the same stealth technologies found in the F-22. Designed from the ground up to prioritize low observability, the F-35 may be the stealthiest fighter in operation today. It uses a single F-135 engine that produces 40,000 pounds. A thrust with the afterburner engaged, capable of pushing the sleep but husky fighter to speeds as high as Mach 1.6. The aircraft can carry four weapons internally while flying in contested airspace, or can be outfitted with six additional weapons mounted on external hardpoints when flying in low-risk environments. The F-35A also comes equipped with an internal four-barrel 25mm rotary cannon hidden behind a small door to minimize radar returns. The standard weapons payload of all three F-35 variants includes two AIM-120CD air-to-air missiles and two 1,000-pound Bo-32 Dan guided bombs. Allowing the F-35 to engage both airborne and ground-based targets. Lockheed Martin has developed a new internal weapons carriage that will eventually allow it to carry an additional two missiles internally. The cockpit of the F-35 foregoes the litany of gauges and screens found in previous generations of fighter in favor of large touch screens and a helmet-mounted display system that allows the pilot to see real-time information. This helmet also allows the pilot to look directly through the aircraft. Thanks to the F-35's distributed aperture system, DOS, and suite of six infrared cameras mounted strategically around the aircraft. It also helped the F-35 notch a win in the looks category. You can look at the Lockheed Martin airplane and say, that looks like what I would expect a modern, high-performance, high-capable jet fighter to look like. Lockheed Martin engineer Rick Rezebeck says, You look at the Boeing airplane and the general reaction is, I don't get it. Ultimately, Lockheed Martin won out over Boeing's unusual-looking X-32 prototype in October of 2001. The future looked bright for the newly named F-35. There was just one problem, jamming all the necessary hardware for the different variants into a single fuselage proved extremely difficult. By the time Lockheed Martin wrapped up design work on the F-35A and got to work on the B, they realized the weight estimates they had established while designing the Air Force variant would lead to an aircraft that was 3,000 pounds too heavy. This miscalculation created a significant setback, the first of many. To the outside observer, the differences between each F-35 variant can be difficult to detect and for good reason. The only real differences among each iteration of the jet are related to basing requirements. In other words, the most noticeable differences are in how the fighter takes off and lands. 
So what really separates the pricey F-35 from the fighter jets that VA come before it? Two words, data management. Today's pilots have to manage a huge amount of information while flying, and doing so means splitting your time between traveling the speed of sound in a collage of screens, gauges, and sensor readouts screaming for your attention. Unlike previous fighter jets, the F-35 uses a combination of a heads-up display and helmet-based augmented reality to keep vital information directly in the pilot's field of view. With a god's eye view of the area, F-35 pilots can coordinate efforts with fourth-generation aircraft, making them deadlier in the process. In the F-35, we are the quarterback of the battlefield, our job is to make everyone around us better, says Lee. Fourth-gen fighters like the F-16 and F-15 will be with us until at least the late 2040s. Because there are so many more of them than us, our job is to use our unique assets to shape the battlefield and make it more survivable for them. All of that information may sound daunting, but for fighter pilots who've experienced the daunting task of compiling information from a dozen different screens and gauges, the F-35's user interface is nothing short of miraculous. The F-35 will also serve as a test bed for technologies that will become commonplace in the next generation of jets. Flying in coordination with AI-enabled drones will become a staple of any sixth-generation fighter, and those new fighter tricks will likely first arrive in the form of the F-35. I look at the most capable, most connected, most survivable aircraft on the face of the planet and what we're able to achieve with it today, Wilson says. I can only imagine what tomorrow's F-35 is going to be capable of.